Never let the facts get in the way of a good conspiracy theory, the old saying goes. Well, that's not exactly how the old saying goes, but it sure was on display this week. A story about the former president and Russian phones and all sorts of characters exploded into wild accusations about Hillary Clinton and even the death penalty. But now, poof, the story has mysteriously all but disappeared from those right-wing outlets. So what happened? CNN Chief Media Correspondent Brian Stelter, host of Reliable Sources, joins me. Now, Brian, this is a complicated story. It's based off of an actual legal filing, but to get from there to here, what happened? There's always a little germ of truth here, and it starts this time last week with special counsel John Durham, who's been investigating the origins of the FBI's Russia probe. He submitted a vague technical filing. Here's the CNN headline about it saying, Special Counsel Durham alleges Clinton campaign lawyer used data to raise suspicions about Trump. Okay, so a little bit of a story, a germ of a story, but it was suddenly blown up by right-wing media as if Trump had been proven right, that he was spied on, that there was a crime of the century. Here's the Wall Street Journal editorial board saying, Trump really was spied on. Donald Trump himself said in a statement at a stronger time in our history, the death penalty will be applied to the criminals here. This was Trump as victim being proven right, even though that was not true at all. This went on for days and days in right-wing media and so, until, John, it started to fizzle. It started to fizzle because John Durham released a follow-up statement to clear things up, yes? That's right. The air, the air started to fizzle out of a balloon that shouldn't have been blown up in the first place. Here's the New York Times headline saying, Durham distancing himself from the Fuhrer in right-wing media. He basically acknowledged that the Internet data at question here, it came from the Obama era, not the Trump era. But already there have been five and six days of hyped, uh, completely crazy coverage from right-wing media trying to prove Trump right. That is always the issue in these stories, John. There's an attempt by his surrogates and allies to try to say Trump is right, even when he's wrong, and it distracts from the real news that you covered earlier this hour about the real crimes and sins of the Trump era, for example, with classified documents. They just want to talk about Hillary Clinton instead. So all the headlines for the past week have been about Hillary Clinton allegedly spying, and now it's all fallen apart. So what has Fox done? They've moved on. They basically thought of talking about Hillary at all. She did say in a speech yesterday uh, that this would come close to actual malice. Basically, she was putting these right-wing outlets on notice saying, you're coming close to libeling me. I don't think she's actually going to sue John, but it's notable she's saying that. Because even in 2022, Hillary Clinton is still the right wing's boogie woman. They still treat her as this terrifying presence. They claim she's going to run for president in 2024. They just can't get enough of Hillary. Brian Stelter, thank you very much.